This is a bathhouse. Hi, my name's Joel Cordy, and I own Chase Bliss Audio, and I made a pedal called Thermae. What is it? The Thera. Thermae, Thermae, which is the Roman word for like a public uh, bathing complex. A public bathing? Yeah. <laughs> so you know. The bathhouse, right? Yeah, right, right. bathhouse. Yeah. Yeah. But by modulating delay time. This is alright. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman here. Are you knobs? Yes, this is knobs. Yeah. So yeah, he's kind of uh, in charge of the bathhouse project because I, I bring knobs everywhere I travel. Starting route to Real World Studios Limited. Head east on Wood Street, then turn right onto Queen Street. This guy's Doug. Doug Tolly. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Doug picked us up from the airport. Now he's hanging out with us at Real World. Yeah. So, you know, it's pretty buggy yet. I have to uh, get it in not, not a weird mode. That's pretty. That's like a tune, tune in itself. Oh, this is this is the stuff. Man. I think some some things maybe I've struggled with in earlier designs. It was nice to be able to just set the pedal in front of you, and you kind of just turned it on, and where you liked it right away. Just like much more interested in making something more intuitive and just naturally f yeah, it's fun, you know. So you don't have. If you want to think about it, you can, but you don't have to. You know what I mean? Like that's that's a great little like uh, skeleton. Okay, let's uh, let's go with that. Yeah. This is gonna sound awesome all together, but like that first, only that yeah, was we'll so that. cool. Like yeah.
Why did we come to Bath? I like to do ridiculous things. I, I know that I can't just keep like doing like the same thing every day, every day, otherwise like I go crazy. So like I purposely sort of schedule stuff like this to just to like step back a little bit. This was also one of uh, the last cities that my brother visited before he, he died. So uh, it just seemed kind of perfect. I don't know, if there was a person that's like an expert in analytics or whatever, and they would say like, is this actually a smart usage of your marketing dollars? I, it's probably not, you know? So yeah, we have the, um, we have the bathhouse rented out this evening and... So what, sort of, what sort of things do you want to borrow? I mean, well, we were just talking about that um, for a while. Like okay. I think it'll fit the vibe pretty well. Uh, I, I uh, asked the question on my f Facebook page, like, where's the place t t to go around here? And everybody was just like, vintage and rare, vintage and rare. They're like, yeah, I think That's that really would work. Good. And yeah, but the, yeah this, was, this is like, this has got a, I mean, this is a really unique look. I think this is gonna work very well. It's a dream. Yeah. Oh, I got Great a weird job. question for you guys. So we wanted to find some mm, the nail polish. polish. Yeah, is there uh, a, somewhere boots. around here? Boots. Yeah, boots. Boots. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, which of these c c colors is black? Like I, I can't. Is that black or is it like just super dark? Sorry, I just don't know anything. <laughs> the indicator line was lighter and. Um, we realized that didn't look so good. So, what was the thing you actually got? We or that used, uh, eyeliner. Yeah, and we just eyeliner. painted it so that. Dave does right. that with sharpie pens when he's not happy. Yeah. I don't know. You know, trying to make it look nice. It says, you know, we rented out a bathhouse. We might as well make the indicator lines look good. Word on the street: knobs, knobs, drew me a bath. <laughs> This business o o over here, okay? <laughs> Let's go with the shorter version. Okay. Oh, shoot, that stumble is intentional, but it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. keep up the stumble. All right. yeah, that's the shorter version. In designing Therme, I set out to replace basic hygiene. How the name came about is I was actually roller blading while pushing my son's stroller, which I think is called stroller blading. And I was thinking about how the pedal might sound, and, and uh, I, I, was, I kept thinking it's going to be like a warm bath, and, and I was thinking that was a stupid name for a pedal. Yeah. Bath, 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 bath. That's like the tone I want to go with. <laughs> I don't know what baths feel like. Well, no, I do know what baths feel like. I don't know what there's, they sound like if they're guitar pedals. If they were guitar pedals, maybe this is how they would sound. Um, stroller blading. I added that step. See, what was happening is I, I, I was playing with it and I was just thinking, I want the sequence to stop sometimes. I want to, I want to control when you yeah. know, it goes through the intervals. And then so I added step mode like a week ago and that's kind of been my favorite thing in performance. In, 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 instead of it sequencing through just you know, without you pressing everything, sometimes I wanted the, you know, the ability for just stop. It's a delay pedal right now, just normal delay, and then you step on it, and then it goes the wah, 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 you know, and then you can, so yeah. you, you can do it rather than it just getting out of yeah, control. For the, song. for the song, it's just, that's probably how most people will use it, actually. And if they're at home and they're, you know, 
they're trying to get inspiration for a song, then they might flip it into sequence mode. This eagle thing, when I when I do a gig or something, it's on all the time, uh, with no no delay, and I just lean on that for a couple of tasty notes in the solo, and it all spins off on its own. And this turns the gate off. Yeah. So depending on how you have these pressed, you get a different thing going on. This does nothing, but look like it just a, looks good. A bee's eye. Yeah. Yes. You know what? That I, I think I have a different approach to you in, in mm -hmm. one way. My approach is um, do something new and different, and um, make it really simple yep. and usable and uh, and not a ton of controls yeah. that go here's a really cool sound and you do it like this your one is you <laughs> give people everything Thank you. I didn't know that it could make these sounds. I'm serious. This is it's fantastic. It's really fantastic, Joe. Thanks. <laughs> For your little present. Dude. <laughs> David, I have to say, I'm really uh, enamored with your living space here. <laughs> it's a good it's start. just really cool. It's just, it just seems like everything is in its right spot. Yeah, thanks again for bringing all this <laughs> stuff. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. That's all right. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's quite nice having it all set up in a box and all ready to go. Which is yeah, nice. Nice. Have a moment. Just starting from scratch. I love it. So that idea you mentioned, C being the glide, might be quite interesting. It could be because it, you know, especially if you had it sequenced up, then it could be like, wow, 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 you know. Now it's like a cat. That sounds like Terry Riley. to just play this right now in this space. I'm gonna be sad when it's over even though I'm getting really cold. <laughs> I'm so glad it's warm and so nice. It's super good. It's a very good look. This is an album cover. Try to just get in there. Like you yeah. can just start right in there. Yeah. Got <laughs> ready to FaceTime with Olaf. think that the product can only improve based on my experiences here and that stuff just wouldn't happen if I was just sitting at home in my office. I would be, you know, sometimes I get focused on minutia and, and I don't see the larger picture of what I'm trying to do with the business in my life. I know I have to keep doing stuff like this to to really f fuel everything. Okay, time to write some code. Got a couple hours before I gotta leave. Before I gotta raise my children. What's your um, biggest seller? Um, it kind of works out that the newest thing is, I don't know. Brothers is, it's pretty steady, but it just came out in March. 
Yeah. But Total Recall is your biggest all-time seller, huh? No? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just a heads up, UPS will probably be here in like two and a half hours. We need all those blue knobs, just so everyone knows. Okay. And we need some womb tones too. <laughs> no, I mean like our flanger doesn't sell. Our <laughs> phaser, I mean, it's fine, but it, it, it's not like, the, yeah. People usually don't want to you know, pay $350 for a flanger, especially if it's noisy and weird and doesn't really make flange sounds. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're making what's interesting to you, so you're gonna naturally probably like it. I don't know. When I make when I make something to start with on like on a breadboard, I just see if I can if I play through it and if I stop playing or if I keep playing. So you get to look, listen, stop playing. Mm -hmm. You've got to do other stuff today. You know? There's a song under there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We forgot about that one. <laughs> like just what happened, well what's happened probably like 20 times today, you know, but when you and I were playing with it and we started off the song and that thing just happened with it and it was your playing but it was also the pedal, you know. It's a song maker. Yeah. Oh yeah, without that. Dude, nice job. This yeah. sounds nice. It does.